Hello everyone, this is your tutor AB. Today we're going to be solving a problem from the IB May 2024 Physics HL examinations. This is a paper 2 problem. Let's get started. A stationary ball is hanging from a light string. A pellet from an air rifle is traveling horizontally and becomes embedded in the ball. The velocity of the pellet when it strikes the ball is 160 meter per second. And they've given us a diagram and the following data. The mass of the ball is 250 grams and the mass of the pellet is 2 grams. Part A. Calculate the speed of the ball and the pellet immediately after the impact. Now to solve this problem, you have to use the concept of the conservation of momentum. Essentially, the momentum of a system before and after must be equal. Okay, this is always obeyed. So the momentum initial is equal to the momentum final. So what does this mean? Well, let's, for the initial, sum the masses and their velocities. So in the system, we have two entities. We have the pellet and the ball. What's the mass of the pellet? The mass of the pellet is 2 grams. And we know the velocity of the pellet was 160 meter per second right here. Plus, now what's the mass of the ball? That's 250 grams. And what was its velocity? It's zero because it was stationary. It says right here, stationary. And now we need to do the momentum after the collision. Okay, so what it says is that the ball becomes embedded with the pellet, meaning their masses must add. So it's 250 plus 2. It becomes one single entity. So the momentum afterwards would be 250 plus 2 times by the, their velocities together because they're one single entity. So that's the way I want to calculate right here. So V essentially becomes, this just becomes zero, right? And the final velocity or the velocity after the impact is 320, which is two times 160 over 252. And that becomes equal to 1.27 or approximately equal to 1.3 meter per second. Okay, part B. So just why the combined kinetic energy of the ball and the pellet after the impact is less than the initial kinetic energy of just the pellet. So this is what you need to understand. The pellet travels through the air and when it comes in contact with the ball, some work is done to penetrate the ball. Okay, and when work is done, there is some transfer of energy. So some of the kinetic energy of the pellet is transferred into other forms of energy, such as internal or thermal energy. And so that's the reason why the energy after the collision or the impact is less than the initial kinetic energy. So in summary, I can write it like this. Two marks means about two points you need to give. So first, the first point is work is done during the penetration. That's the first step. And now the second step is that some of the energy is transferred or converted, this transferred slash converted into an other form of energy such as other form. And for example, we can give like thermal or internal energy, okay? So that's essentially the two marks you want to be giving for this type of question. So the ball with the embedded pellet, pellet rises to maximum vertical height h. Draw and label the free body diagram for the ball at height h. So firstly, we know there is a tension due to the string because the tension force is holding the ball attached to the spring, a string, sorry. So we can label that as FT or that's just tension force. And we also know that there is a weight component of the system. So the weight component is basically just weight is equal to mg. And now these are your two main forces for this free body diagram. Okay, 
sorry that was from my previous working out for this question before i was recording okay now they ask us to determine the height h to determine the height h we can basically use the conservation of energy that the initial or the kinetic energy must be equal to the potential energy okay and i'll show you how so we know at this down position there is some kinetic energy ke and then at this further at this furthest up position there is a potential energy okay and we know that this must be equal to this this must be equal to this these both are equal so we can equate these two energies to solve for h and i'll show you how now what is the kinetic energy of this entity like the pellet ball entity immediately after the collision well that's half times by the mass so that's basically 250 plus 2 times by the velocity immediately after the collision which we calculated earlier to be 1.27 the whole square that's the kinetic energy immediately after the collision now what is the potential energy at this upmost position that's again the mass of the entity which is 250 plus 2 times by the gravity which is basically 9.81 Gra acceleration due to gravity g and then we have finally you'd have the height which is what i want to solve m g h that's m that's g and that's h so we know that the masses are equal on both sides so this the masses cancel and so i can directly equate for h so h would be equal to 1.27 the whole square over two times and then we bring gravity to the other side 9.81 so what is h let's put this in our calculator and find out 9.81 height comes out to be 0 0.08 meters and that's the height that's how much it has risen from this downmost position okay Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it down below and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.